Hi guys, this is Aksana Verfine Art and welcome to Technical Thursdays. In today's video, I will be sharing with you uh, a tip that I learned recently from Alan Picard on shaving your pastel sticks, which come in a hard form. So in my example, I will be using uh, new pastels by Prismacolor and uh, I will show you how to um, shave them to a fine point. So stay with me and I hope you will uh, enjoy the process. So in with this video I will show to you how I sharpen the pastel sticks. It's new pastel by Prismacolor. They're great pastel sticks to work with. They're on the hard side but they are for many great reasons to use uh, as underpainting or as a sketch uh, or even the whole drawing. So uh, this is a 233 number. Uh, I just picked this number instead of white so you can actually just see it in the video. No specific reason of this color. Uh, now I learned this trick from Alan Picard. He uses razor blade. I found from my husband's garage uh, uh, a holder. It's a retractable holder that um, retracts the blade safely and back. So I found it will be also easy to hold this way and shave. So the trick that I learned is that you keep in mind you have to rotate the stick at 45 angle like a rotisserie chicken. So I always keep that in my head. Okay, rotisserie chicken. Keep uh, rotating. So I will start at a 45 angle and uh, start shaving it down on all the sides. The blade is quite sharp, so it doesn't have any problem taking uh, the, uh, the pigment off. Uh, so I just put a paper towel. You can put anything underneath. So just shaving it all down and turning it while I'm doing it to the desired point. All right, I have to mention to you that uh, it's very important not to put too much pressure. I have broken my pastel sticks when I was practicing. They just snipped off. That's because I was applying too much pressure. So don't apply too much pressure. That way you're risking breaking your stick. Okay, let's see. So keep rotating and shaving it down until you're satisfied. But at the same time, keep in mind how much you're shaving off. It may take few tries. Luckily, these pastel sticks are on the budget side. They're not too expensive. And sometimes if you buy like a packs of one color, I think a packs of 10 or 12, sometimes it, there is a discount. You're getting them cheaper. So if there is like a specific color you use the most, black, white, or any other shade, uh, so it's very economical to buy that way. I hope you're able to see. I'm just trying not to press too hard. I don't want to risk breaking. All right. Even if I break on the video, I guess we, everyone makes mistakes. So don't feel bad if you do, okay? So with the remaining dust, you can either save it and create your own pastels, mix it with something instead of throwing away. You can buy jars at craft stores with caps on them and you can keep the uh, this uh, pigment, uh, the pastel pigment in those jars. So I'm not doing a super pointy point but I think it will be good enough. Alright, so just to show you the 
pointy end okay so I hope you found it helpful and you may try it yourself or if you have any other way I would love to hear uh, your way of sharpening the pastel sticks I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and if you have any suggestions uh, of your own ways of sharpening uh, the pastel sticks let me know in comments below I would love to hear from you have a great day and see you next time bye Thank you.